Hey, Wargamers, welcome back to the channel, Death From Above Wargaming. I'm Aaron. I'm Tom. And we are back at the review table uh, with the announcement of the Urban Mech Land Air Mech. We decided to go back and actually do a review on the, the Urban Mech pack. So if you were unaware, there is in fact an Urban Mech Lance, an entire Lance Tom of Urban Mechs. And a lamb. And the lamb, the and the lamb, and the lamb. lamb's coming a with lance the and a lamb. Yeah, so you could you could run like a star of. <laughs> yeah. Of urban mechs. Could you imagine if some weird clan Which got is, a bunch of urban mechs and was like, "This is this is the way." Clan Alley Cat. Clan Alley Cat. It's gonna happen. Clan Trash Can. I don't know. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. It's gotta though. be an animal though. Yeah. Clan Raccoon. It has to be a raccoon because they love trash cans. It has to be. Yeah, and it star has to raccoon. be an animal. I don't know. Armadillo? Isn't there already an armadillo? Yeah, but they don't like trash. <laughs> There's no clan armadillo. All animals like trash, Aaron. What That's animal fair. does not eat trash? It's a fair point. Yeah, right? Okay. Anyway, so there are four uh, delightful Urban Mech variants in this box, okay? Yeah. Now, in the first Kickstarter, the Urban Mech was just a, like a standalone, like, special thing. Yeah. And everyone was very excited about right. it. You got it in a salvage box, Correct. right? Yeah. Then they came um, out with this guy, which is the Lance. And then now the lamb after that. So we're going to look at the lamps tonight. We're going to go through all the details. Uh, we'll look at the Alpha Strike cards. We'll look at the pilot cards. I actually printed out the override record sheets so we know exactly what weapons are on mm. each variant. I feel good. All right. And we'll take a close look at all the details so that you guys can enjoy some close-ups. But that said, guys, stick around. Urban Mech Lance Review. It's coming right up. All right, we're ready to open this thing. Tom, tear it open. Just tear, just rip it open. What do we got? Or I like throw the box. Do, well, actually, what's the what's the what's the artwork in the box look like? How's it look? Um, it's a cloudy city. I, it's a foggy city. It's an urban. It's an urban landscape, yeah. fellas. Fitting an urban landscape. I get. I see. I see what you're doing. Do you, Do you get it though? Do you guys? Do you get it? <laughs> Uh, yeah, box out of the way. All right, well, I got is the cards. Is still on cameras at all? Probably. Okay, good. It's probably still on camera. There's too many camera. cameras. So many cameras. There's cameras <laughs> everywhere. I can't hide anything anymore. Um, okay. All right, so we got all sorts of stuff here. Now, the nice thing about these Alpha Strike cards is they tell me, like, can which like, yeah. model goes with which variant. Yeah, can I guess right. which one's which? G give me a variant name, and I'll try to guess. UMR68. UMR. I'm going to guess it's this guy. Wow. Great job. Yes. Great job. Oh, God, I knew it. Okay. okay. UMR60. This guy. Wrong. What? Uh, no way. Really? God, is, I mean, these two look identical. They God. look very similar. <sighs> but the barrel's a little different. That barrel's messed up. Uh, okay, this guy. Nope. Yep. All right, that's, the, that's, the, OG, that's okay. the OG Urban Mac. That's the original yeah. Urban Mac. UMR60L. L, long range, I'm gonna guess LRMs? No. No, okay. No. Fuck, yeah, that guy. What, laser? Is that, what's the that's a, I think that's an AC-20 and this is an AC-10. Yeah. Okay, wow, that's awesome. And then I mean, UMR-27, that... yeah. all right. How, now there are two AC variants. AC-20 on, what, how heavy are these things? Are these mediums? They are 30 tons. Thir 30 tons of an AC-20. I believe so. All right, let's, so, so here's the deal. Let's, let's start by. Well, you had a 30 fiber with a Gauss. Right, last the Hollander. Game. All right, so let's start with this one. So this one has two variants. Visual the, the, Intrigue. The UMR68 and the UMR80. Okay. All right, now. Can I get the card for it? Uh, you can get the card for it. Okay. All right, we're going to start looking at this one. Now I'm going to talk about oh, some When I say the, card, I actually meant the, the sheet. The, uh, the, 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 the override sheet. sheet. Yes. All the right. hashtag override sheet. <laughs> hashtag override. Yeah. So it's the R80, and what's on the other side? Um, the R68. Yeah, so what's interesting is the R80 doesn't look anything like the model. And when I looked at all of the mechs and the cards associated with the mechs, I gotta be honest, I would use them totally different. Yeah. Um, the UM R80 has a snub nose PPC on it, and the model has a giant <laughs> missile launcher, but the R68 does have an MRM30, so that's like the primary okay. variant. Um, so here you go, there's those two. Can we talk about its role as an ambusher? You ain't getting ambushed by an urban mech. They are so uh, well, slow. 
Let's talk about the detail on this Mac. All right, I want to want to reel you back in here. Okay. I am actually impressed. So MRM thirty. It's an MRM thirty. Small pulse. Small laser. And a small laser. All right. Um, so MRM thirties are not great. Yeah, it's super slow. Right? They're all two, two three. Three, two. Are they yeah. all? Wait. They're all this okay. slow. Yeah. They're all okay. horrendously slow. Um, Mamma mia. But I love the detail on the back. Look at the like the vents in the MRM right here. Take a look. The jump jets. All these great things jump, on there. Jump jets for it's a so two. good. Well, it's an urban it's Mac. Perfect. Yeah. You know, it can only jump two stories, but it's oh, I mean, right. it's it's impressive. Um, so good. And it's kneeling. I guess because what it would just spin around when it fired the the missiles. Other, right. Otherwise. <laughs> but this is a great mini. Yeah, it's cool. And you even had the little small laser right there. Yeah, it could be. The detail is is definitely good. Yeah, that's definitely yeah. what it is, which is not on the other ones. I don't R think sixty eight. Yeah, let's uh, yeah. give it a no. No, no. Yeah, throw that so, one up on the, the close up cam too. Oh, and maybe move, close move. up. Yeah. Is that close enough? I feel like it's good. We're in 4K, Tom. Everything's close enough. Lay down your arms. Do they, <gasps> mechs have loudspeakers, I assume, right? They must. Is that Canon? Do they have like. Leave it in the comments, yeah. but I'm sure. An urban mech has to, because like. I mean, how else do get you get back in your house? Yeah. yeah, pull over, pull <laughs> yeah. over your Honda Civic, sir. So, slow down. I can't. Sl slow, I can't slow, keep up. Slow down. <laughs> can't yeah. keep up with your Corolla. Um, okay, who's next? Who's next? Uh, you you choose. You choose. Do you um, want to do the R twenty seven? Let's do the R twenty seven. So yeah. that's the one with the the other no. Nope. Yep. Yeah, that guy. So this is the, what, what's the other side? R ninety three. R ninety three. Yeah. Ambusher. Yeah, we're gonna talk about that one later. Okay. So do the R twenty seven. Does it match the... The main ones always match. Okay. Which Three is, which is SRM6s. great. SRM sixes. So this is just packing crap I'm tons sure of missiles. It looks like it. Yeah. It's interesting. You know, <clears throat> I, would, I would be interested to compare it from a battle value perspective to an SRM carrier, which has way more SRMs, but I, but I wonder if it's as resilient. I feel like it's more resilient. An SRM carrier? <laughs> yeah. They're, they're monsters, man. They're, well, they're, they they're don't have such a ton of dang... armor, but they're super dangerous. I mean, they have, I they have, what, six? If you don't have to move them anywhere, right. they're very powerful. Well, I mean, this can... thing doesn't really particularly move far either. I was going to ask, can LRM carriers can indirect fire, right? Oh, yeah. This guy can't. You can't indirect fire with SRMs, period. Oh, it's SRMs. Yeah. Oh. yeah. So now, what's interesting, though, is this variant also has armored, or, I'm sorry, actuator enhancement systems, AES, on both arms, which gives it a two-hit modifier on its SRMs. It basically stabilizes the weapons. So that I just noticed that now. Yeah, minus ones at point blank. Is there strike. any benefit on the Alpha Strike card? Um, and that was the 27. Right? Yeah, I mean, um, no, it just does 330. Three, SRM 2, two. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I mean, maybe the damage goes up a little bit. I don't know, but in Classic and, and Override, that's like a huge benefit, right? The, the AES system. How interesting is that you just lose... I mean, it might be baked into the the damage calculation, but because of but the rounding, it be a special? no, hmm. no, that's it's typically like just oh, rip. so you're, you're yeah, I get it though. So you're saying when yeah. it converted it, well, but I bet you it's rounded out because it's not that big of a of a deal. But I'm not sure. But that's a huge deal. That's a huge deal. Huge deal. Huge, big as deal. they say. All right, let's uh, so so this this Mac. Let's talk about. It. I I really do like it. So it's got. I mean, it's it's to form. It's got the twelve SRMs on one side, the six on the other. The legs don't confuse me. The legs do. <laughs> the legs don't confuse you, and I do love all the venting. The heat, yeah. like if they're heat sinks, that whatever one has they are. Jumps too, huh? Yeah, yeah, this one. Oh, yeah, they all have jump jets. Yeah. yeah. So, Wait, they all do? Okay. All, I mean, it is the signature, the signature urban Mac move. Okay, let's swap out. For the new guy, here I'll give him a little bit of a close. I'll try to be very smooth with it. Ooh. Ooh. I do like that. I like this one a lot. And I also, again, asymmetrical two on and one. Yeah, that's very cool. Always love it. Yeah, it's a cool design. I now do like that one. Now here's my question though. Yeah. The R27 shows them all being Oh no, left arm right. Yep. Okay, cool. It's just one tick. Yeah. Okay. Um, and this is just one tick. So cool, cool. 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 All right. Okay. Let's do which one R60? you want to do R60. Let's do the R60. So this is the this is the bread and butter <clears throat> urban mech. This is the one you got in the salvage box. Which, if I'm being honest, I'm a little disappointed that they because didn't the just create. Because oh. this is the one you get in the 12 pack. It's the one you get in the salvage box. It's yeah. literally identical. And there are other variants which we'll talk about in a minute. Not even reposed. Not not to my knowledge, guys. Like leave it in the comments. I don't think it's reposed. I think it's the same one. 
Um, maybe they're going to deprecate the. Yeah. I mean, the troll I box, do, both I of them were just special edition things. I think this is a cleaner, like, you know, it looks like a cleaner mold. Okay. You know, the, the, the recesses look a little better to me maybe than they, some of the older, like, especially the, the Wave 1. But yeah. otherwise, it's the same. Well, we know this guy. Yeah, well. AC-10, small laser, right? Yeah. All the same stuff. Um, there's really, really not much there. It's, it's, uh, it's 11 points in Alpha Strike, which is fantastic. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I was a little disappointed that it wasn't a different variant. So the other one on this card is the R69, which <laughs> I can hear Beavis and Butthead laughing. Oh, oh. <laughs> that one has an Ultra 10, an ER small, and a small pulse. So let's just so, throw this thing in the trash. Yeah, I mean, and, no, and these are close enough, I think, from like a what you see, what you get type perspective that I think those two go together. Yeah, you could. Um, that could be a, a UAC 10. Yeah, for sure. Um, and then lastly is the R60L. Now, mm, I love the fact, I do love the fact that the AC20 is like just shorter and bigger and beefier. Yeah. Um, it also just has a small laser and then jump jets and a little bit less armor um, than, the, uh, than the R60. Yeah. The barrel is weird looking. Yeah. I kind of like it. What don't you like about it? You think it's a little like... It looks uh, like a plumbus or something. Like... It's just like I get what they were trying to do. I think they were trying to do like a little like hexagonal inset kind of thing. Yeah, but it looks like it just got melted a little bit. It's sort of just melting. Like it's gone. melting. Yeah. It's, it's. I think if you drilled it out, it would look fine. Yeah, you know. Um, but I do. I do see what you're saying on that one. Perhaps. Perhaps a production defect, unfortunately. But, but I do like it. Yeah, I like big the big asymmetrical guns. I do like it. I love like the look like the yeah. the ammo housing. Which it, which it right? shares with this. Yeah, it, but it's, it's all the same up until there, right? Or do they actually? It's a little bit. No, it's little bigger. Bit. Oh yeah, look, look at it from the front. Uh, yeah, the whole yeah, thing look is. Look at that, just a little bit. Just beefier. a little bit, wow. just a little beefier, which is cool. Are we I, just making that up, or is it no. actually? No, I mean, look at the I'm size sure. of the. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and the, and then that little ejection little, port's on right. A it's bigger, spot. right? The ejection port. That's exactly what that is. Yeah, and and this one's at off the top. This is straight out the side. That's yeah. Well, I like that. Kudos to scalers. Yeah. Yeah, it's very cool. It's the benefit of modern technology. Modern technology. Pinch and uh, zoom. Pinch, <laughs> pinch and zoom. Okay. All right, so listen. Uh, let's go through the cards. Then I want to go through these variants that are on the cards and what they have. And Well, I wanted to see that. I, I didn't actually look at the 60 Oh, the 60 I was just saying, see, it's the same thing as the 60. I just, I like that AC20. You like that? You could run but, a whole lance of these. I mean, I, I've never had luck with an AC20, have no. I? Never. Because what, like the Hunchback is an AC-20, right? Your Kodiak's AC-20 jammed. It was an Ultra-20. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And yeah, the Hunchback, you never hit with it. Never. Because you, you can't get in range for it. And yeah. Oh. All right, listen. I'm going to go through some of these yeah. names. All right. Should we do it like Keen Peel? Awanita Analasa. Uh, is that a W or a V? Two Vs? A-V-V? -V? Oh, Avenita? Maybe. Avenita. Well, no, A-A-Ron. Yeah. <laughs> you done messed up. A-V-V-E-N-A. Uh, Dua Chief Thet. Oh, I like that name. All right. But it, what I love is that his name's Chief, but he's a lieutenant. <laughs> he's only a lieutenant. <laughs> uh, well, I think lieutenant's higher than a chief, because one's an NCO like, and one's yeah, a... Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Gerald... Actually, yeah, what is Chief? Is, isn't that Master Sergeant? You get like... Like a yeah, like chief. I don't know. That's not like an official rank, chief but petty yeah, officer. chief petty officer, like warrant, <laughs> chief warrant maybe officer. I'm just, maybe I'm just wrong. Gerald just Longergan. Oh, that's a good name. Ooh. Oh, Drask. Drask. He sounds like a Trandoshan, like, like from it. Star Wars, like Bosk. Drask. Yeah, I like it. Oh, he's in. My boy. Oh, he's a clan jade. Wait a minute. They have clan jade Falcon pilots in urban mech. I mean, my I'm, mind is freaking blown. Might, Why would? This is like worse than janitorial duty. This is what like when you oh. suck at being a janitor, they put you in an urban mech. Can I read his card? Please do. Okay. Dramatic, Dramatic reading. reading. Here it comes. Drask barely passed his trial of position, winning only by default. After a mediocre career, he tested so far down that he was relegated to security duties on Morgus and was left behind when the Falcons drove to Terra. He is dedicated to defending the now independent world until his clan returns. I mean, that's a whole campaign Just, right there. Yeah. 
for this bro. I, I love it. We got to. I'm, I'm going to steal one and we can paint him up. What's he in? Oh, he's in your favorite oh, one too. And he's in the best one. Yeah, he's in the. Uh, was it the R69? No. Yeah, that's the one you liked with the, all the SRMs. The R27. Yeah. Now, I love it. Spot pilot special abilities. Stand aside. May spend one MP to pass through a hex occupied by an enemy unit. Oh, that's kind of cool. Wait, you just got to make a piloting roll. That's yeah. cool. Great name. Uh, great card. Do you know what's funny though? We should totally. They only move. They only walk two. So if there's an enemy and a hex in front of you, you you can't end your turn in that hex. So you have to be running to use that ability. That's how that's how bad this guy is. He's like everyone out of my way. Can you run into another mech when? You like charge attack. Gerald Lon Lonergan, Cephalo Schwartz, Jameson Tate. There's a lot of Jamesons, I feel like. So many Jamesons. That's like a very popular Reagan fantasy name. It's just yeah. Reagan. Oh, Regan, is it Regan or Reagan? Is it a girl or, or guy? I believe it's. If it's a girl, it's Regan. If it's a guy, it's Reagan. I know a girl named Reagan. Yeah. You, you say Reagan? Yeah. You don't say oh, Reagan? My parents say Reagan. No. It's a hard. They probably just don't like her. Reagan is a Nova Cat trueborn so who tournament. abandoned her clan after failing her trial of position rather than be relegated to the technician cast. God, and then she ended up in an urban mech. Like, so that's what the happened? Second like, karma. Planner? Awful. Listen. They're, they're definitely fan servicing. Yeah. Uh, fan servicing 100%. Getting into, getting into our dirty clanner hands. All right, so check it out. So there's three other urban mech variants that I wanted to talk about, right? Oh. They are they are very different in my opinion uh, than some of the other ones here. So there's one with a Rack okay. 5, the Urban Mech R70. It's got a rotary auto cannon 5, an ER love medium, it. and an ER small. Would love to see a variant for that. Like, I may kit bash one of these urban mechs. To get a rack. What does the rack usually look like? It don't, well. Like a Gatling gun? It looks like a Gatling yeah. gun, right? And and guys, leave in the comments. I know the artwork's evolving, it's but the all five, the ones that I remember, models? remember the Atlas II we looked at? Yeah. That's like a that's like a like a rack. I don't know how many barrels they have. Because there's a rotary two, I think it's the same number. Maybe there's a rotary two and a rotary of five. Maybe. I love those guns. Like old World War II. Doom, 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 oh, doom. dude, yes. Like on the back of the weren't they on the back of the B-52s? Yeah, I mean, and like warships and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Cool emplacement guns, yeah. Mm. Urban Max R80. So what's the deal? What does the stub nose get you? Is the snub, it, the snub nose. Just mess with your range. So a snub nose has, uh, like different. It's very weird. Like its long range is fifteen, and it does like five damage at long range. Medium range starts with thirteen hexes, and it jumps up to eight damage. And then at short range, it does its full damage, which is ten. Uh, and I don't remember where short range is. Maybe nine hexes or something like that. But a normal PPC does like seven damage, right? Or it does ten. It like does standard do 10. Okay. IS, yeah. Like the basic clan ones do fifteen. Heavy PPCs do fifteen. Then there's a light PPC too. It's very confusing. There's all kinds of PPCs in the in the new world. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, the snub nose basically does, and I don't remember what what it is, is it in terms of cheaper. Heat. Like I don't, I guess yeah, a little lighter, a little cheaper. You know, lighter, a little cheaper. Plus, you can hide it on your trench coat. Yeah, flasher. The great, for the, great for the herb. Great, great for, for the, the flash, flash man. man. Yeah. <laughs> so this is another one where I think you know I, I don't know like to me this one looks more like a snub nose PPC even though it's got the mm, the auto totally can, the be. ballistics. But you could cut that off. You could cut yeah. Just, you could just cut the ammo box off and maybe glue some capacitors or something on there from another mech. You know. Or just paint the ammo box blue and then you're like oh yeah they're capacitors or whatever. Yeah anything like that yeah it's a great idea. Then they have this one which I would nobody would, looks that close. I would have really loved to have. Although I guess it's sort of a niche variant. I would have loved to have a model for that because I have no idea what plasma rifles are supposed to look like. A plasma rifle? It's very cool. I didn't, have we ever played a plasma rifle? We have. I never hit with them. Um, nice. But they, it's like, it, and there's also plasma cannons, which are on the clan side, but plasma cannons don't do damage. I think they just do heat. Plasma rifles are an inner sphere weapon. They do damage and heat. That's right. Um, but they're cool. I mean, they, they can shoot far and they, you know. And it's, hardened armor. Oh, dude, hard armor is crazy. Yeah, we love we love. But hard look, it can't run. Armor. I mean, it basically its run speed is reduced, so it just moves. It's so heavy. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, having an urban mech, I mean, it's basically a mildly mobile turret with hardened armor. It's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. It's weird. The modifiers are so high on this guy. Yeah. I mean, it's not weird, but like just compared to some of the other ones that are. 
Yeah, they don't shoot Way as far. Hit, yeah, well, yeah. and then this one with the uh, actuator enhancement system is very good. Super cool. Yeah. Yeah, that is a great mech. And my boy Drax. Is Drask. That Drask. Is that the one he drives? Yeah, Flask. Flasky Drask. Oh, is that the one he has? With yeah. the Oh, man, dude. I mean, that's the picture. I'll, right? I'll give you that one. You yeah, can we're gonna, it up in your, we're gonna play. your Jade Falconry. I love it. So good. It'll be so weird. It'll be really funny. Yeah. Like, oh, you just be like alongside a dire wolf. Him, yeah, just, well, it's just gonna be. Apparently, he is holding down the entire, the entire planet, planet in, in a single urban. All night. they have to do is land on the opposite side of the planet, and he's like in a lot of trouble. He'll never get there. I mean, yeah, they could basically, they could probably build walls by the time he gets there. <laughs> it's like, a, like, like a tower to defense be, game where they just build like. Yeah, and it only has to be like five feet tall, and he can't, he'll never get over. He'll never get over. Yeah. Two jump? Oh, maybe. 12, 15 feet. Yeah, just build a three-story build, three-story wall. <laughs> yeah. He's done. Done. He never gets out. Yeah, I feel like you could build that pretty quick. All right. So anyway, back to the minis. All right. <clears throat> I'm gonna talk about these one more time. Sure. All right. So ranking them from most favorite to least favorite. Well, we, right. you, yeah. Where, where? Which way do we start? High, low. Let's start with least favorite. Um. Okay. Really? That's your. Um, this for, your least. For. Tell me why. I can't stand the barrel okay it bothers me to no end i this is actually probably I know, I in my top it. i know 50%. i know i just hate this you one's so probably much. my top i understand I hate that you so much. i'm gonna burn it later. all right so this is your this is your least one yeah. what's your now what's your what's your second least favorite one um the standard one the standard okay just i i kind of agree with that i don't it's, need 13 i you know right yeah we don't need, we don't need 13 them. or 14 of them yeah. i agree with you 12 yeah. is enough yeah yeah i i wish i again i really wish it was different yeah. You know, I would have loved that. I think I think that just would have been that one more extra little because they. I mean, how hard is it, right? Like, I'm yeah, sure well, it's hard, then, but even if you charge me another five bucks, I, I would have enjoyed the pack a little, just that much more time. Yeah, but yeah, so I agree with you on that one. That one may even be my least favorite. Or what's the next one? I know this is your favorite. Yeah. So so this one. Yeah, we're. I want to like this one more, and honestly, like I would take the top half off and put it on different legs. I do not like tank treads. <laughs> I do not like kneeling them. poses. I it's oh, like that legendary archer wait, I that's forgot. kneeling. It's see from the angle me. I'm looking at, I couldn't see the goofy leg. That bothers it me. It bothers me. Um, I just I'm never a fan of like the goofy oversized weapon. Oh, I like that. I know you. Again, it's so I know cool. you do. And I hate you so much. <laughs> okay. I'm just I'm just kidding. I um, hate you. I just hate you. Um, <laughs> yeah, I I just, hate you. I've never been. And watch somebody's gonna like find a clip where I was like, I love oversized weapons because I'm sure I'm not consistent on this at all. But yeah, <clears throat> but yeah, that and this is your ranking. I think this is my ranking. Okay. Um, I do. This one is super cool to me. It's a super cool sculpt. It definitely the best executed. If this one was on normal legs, it would be my top by a long shot. So easily take them off the standard guy. That's hundred exactly. percent. So like, okay. it's an so easy. Now, let, let's think about that. Let, easy. I think easy. Like, get a little jeweler saw, and you could pop it right off, no problem. I do like it a lot better. Okay, yeah, do it. You see that? I'm gonna do it. Yeah, and then and then you'll have it differentiated. They should have just done that from the beginning because then you'll have. Oh it my god! We just saw. Thank you. You you. That's how easy would that have been? Yeah. You would have put the standard. Top half on the kneeling works. bottom half, then you would have two different poses for Urban Max for yeah. the standard one, and then the MRM one. Maybe could it's be... all one cast. Well, I guess no, because the legs I'm I sure mean, aren't. aren't. No, the legs aren't. So yeah, you could have easily yeah. they connected the leg. So I feel like you're right, dude. Well, and that's probably we where solved you solved it. You would probably cut there. Oh no, I'd cut it at the waist. Yeah, would you? Okay, I think so. It's probably easier. I mean, I don't know. Maybe you're right though, because the the hips or the whatever so the thin. pelvis is the same size, so it should just fit right in, and yeah. then you could just glue it. I, yeah, I think those are. Cons I think the torsos are consistent. Yeah, except yeah. for again, our man with the he. Oh, actually, you know, and he's got the small laser too, which I really like. I really like so that one. I I do have to give. I yeah yeah. I think that would be so. So factoring out his legs. Yeah, that would be mine. I I would kind of I would kind of do this if he was on different legs. I would go because I you know I like moves. I yeah. like the big that's good the big gun top. Yeah, and then mine would be reversed. And yeah, and yours would be like that. And then yeah, then this one, and then lastly, just the standard yeah standard fair. I, I want to like him more, but you want to like him more? No, him. Yeah, like, the barrel like when I look at it, it bothers me. <sighs> that's because it's an AC twenty, and you don't yeah, like AC twenty. I have a hate. Yeah, they haven't treated me well. Yeah. I understand. I've been right. burned too many times by that bright flame. 
All right. Well, that's all we got. Uh, just a little urban mech review here. Uh, I'm interested. <laughs> just a little one. Just a little this one. This is like 40 minutes later. A 40 minute, 40 minute review of just rambling. Talking. talking uh, a couple of things. Number one, I want to hear what your favorite one is. Tell us your favorite urban mech variant and tell us if you think we're crazy or if you agree with us about the standard fair urban mech. And also um, Dra Drask being the coolest card. I mean, I think everybody agrees with that. Yeah, if you don't. Like, what did, just, like, who are you? Yeah. What a monster. Oh, maybe they just really dislike clans. Then okay. I get it. There's a lot of people who really dislike clans. I really clans. dislike clans. I still think Drask is the coolest. The monster. idea, The idea of a clan pilot being so bad at life just, that he's in an urban mech is the funniest thing to me. Uh, whoever wrote that card, if you're watching, A++++. plus 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 plus. You Brilliant. should write a book about it. You should it write a book. a book. I agree with you on. I agree with you on that. Yeah. Write a book. I would read that one. I would definitely read that one. Yeah. That's a um, all right. So anyway, that said, leave a comment. Let me know which one is your favorite. Let me know which one you wish they would have done. Uh, oh, if um, there's other variants, there even though because there's other ones, there's the suburban Mac too, which is personally my favorite. It, is it just bigger? No, it's the same size. They just call it the suburban Mac. It's got leather. And the rock with the, the 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 you know the really good sound third row system. seating. Yeah, yeah. yeah. third row seating. <laughs> the cockpit opens just up real and back. Yeah. <laughs> just like a, a big thing off the back of it. Yeah, it's so good. Um, anyway, that's that's too funny. Yeah. No, but it's it's just I don't know why they call it Super Mac, but it's basically got a PPC and some long. Oh, I love it. It's yeah. fantastic. Um, but anyway, let us know which one you wish uh, was was in this pack, um, and I'm very interested to know what you think about the the urban mech lamb not going to get into it it's controversial some people love it some people hate it let's start a let's start an argument in the comments section what do you think i'm pro lamb right we've talked about that yeah i'm all about lamb i don't really you know they make yeah more of a beef guy but okay you know that was good thank you that was really good it took i just almost almost soaked in so deep and i had to like (laughs) think about that we're full of jokes tonight. Yeah. Uh, anyway, other things. <laughs> Aries Games and Minis. That is the number one stop shop until yeah. you drop for all Battletech needs. Uh, dice books. He's got 3D printed terrain on demand. Yeah. I've heard that he every box that he packs, he cries uh, because he cares so much. So much about the package. Yeah, he just doesn't want to. He, he has to hold it for a little bit before he can actually yeah. give it to you. So. Yeah. It's a true yeah. story. So, yeah, so the box is a little wet. That's why. <laughs> so weird. Uh, the other thing is you should care enough to subscribe, like, and leave a comment, as we said. Um, but definitely like the video. Please like the video. It's just a sim- simple click. Oh, speaking of which, subscribe. That's also a simple click. Tell us you're not. Be like, I am not going to like this video. Yeah, if you don't like the video, definitely tell us I that you didn't love, like it. That would be amazing. Like, yeah. So, But I would like to know if you hate it. Except for Drask, who was thrown into an urban mech against his will. <laughs> if you hate Drask, there's something wrong with you. Yeah. You should feel bad for Drask. Yeah, free um, Drask. Yeah. The- if you do love Drask, though, you know what else they should do, Tom? Turn on over to Patreon. As oh. little as a dollar a month, all right? And we can keep bringing you this insane content about clan pilots and urban mechs. Yeah. Vote for a campaign solely based around Drask. Yeah, if you want to see a campaign story. solely based around Drask. If we can find out who wrote this, maybe we can work with them i don't i don't know if it and like expand the story more it'd be great that would be great uh chat gpt no <laughs> get in touch with gemini yeah that's that's our newest writer oh my goodness could you imagine mm. no i can't imagine what Wait, would come can out can you imagine the variants that would come out of like a chat gpt program Wait, that's a jump point episode right there I we mean, just start feeding it and do it. See what do, don't you have a chat GPT? I do, yeah. Dude, start doing it. Okay. Well, Please do see. it. Uh, but that said, Tom, I think we're done. This has been madness. Over. It's All great. right. I mean, it's urban mix. It's right. So it can't be serious. Madness, yeah. Can't be serious. All right. Well, on that note, we hope you enjoyed it. Guys, thank you so much for watching. And of course, stay tuned. Always great stuff coming from Death from Above Wargaming. Have a good night.